Hello viewers and welcome in this my session. I am Dr. Meher Chand. In this session, we will discuss about AZ plot. AZ plot is a very simple function in the MATLAB and by using this AZ plot function, we can plot 2D and 3D. And uh, the most important thing is, this is only the one line statement program and uh, which plot uh, symbolic expression, equation and functions. So I am presenting here some examples. The code will start from the prompt sign EZ plot. This is the function and uh, in the parenthesis we will put here any function. So function will be always appeared in the quote sign. I am using here a sign function. Okay. And when I will enter this EZ plot function will plot the graph as you can see here this is the sign graph and by default the domain will be minus 2 pi to 2 pi if you want to customize the domain you can do use here comma and uh, use the square bracket at this place we will assign the domain minus 4 pi to 4 pi and when I will enter see now the same graph we have in the domain from minus 2 pi uh, minus 4 pi to 4 pi okay further if you want to increase the domain you can do if i change here uh, in the place of 4 i have minus 10 to 10 okay see what happened so now the sine graph we have from the minus 10 pi to 10 pi okay and by default, you can see on the horizontal line, we have X variable and on the top, you can see the title of the function. Now, we can plot parabola, hyperbola, ellipse, and that is very quite simple to plot here. I am choosing here, the function is Y is equal to X square. Y is equal to X square and the range is minus 10 to 10. I am using the range from minus 10 to 10 and then so this is the graph of the function which is y is equal to x square and also on the horizontal line we have x axis on the vertical line on the left hand side you can see y axis and on the top you can see the function which we plot at this place which is y is equal to x square further if you want to add some more information uh, you can add here grid on you can use here grid on okay and now you can see in the same graph the grids are there also uh, according to this graph uh, the range minus 10 to 10 is uh, is too large so we can decrease see here I am using here minus 5 to 5 and then enter so again uh, yes so this is the graph in the range of minus 5 to 5 okay and same other informations will appear on the x-axis as well as y-axis and on the top uh, title is there now if you want to um, more customize the function by using set set function is there okay then in the bracket we will use ez plot then we have the function which is y is equal to x square y is equal to x square then we have the range minus 5 to 5 this is the range of x okay minus 5 to 5 then after we have we have to use this domain at this place that and best now we can customize the color color is red okay r is used for red color then again comma if you want to increase the width of the curve then we have to use line width okay line width and uh, that is i am using here two unit and uh, enter so you can see we have this graph y is equal to x square if you have uh, the another function you can choose here y is equal to minus x square then enter 
you can see the parabola which is in the downward direction you can change the variables if i am interchanging here x is equal to minus y square so you can see the another parabola okay and if i am using case x is equal to y square then we have this parabola so the is it plot statement is very simplest function uh, for 2d and 3d <coughs> by using the same we can have some more functions if i have x square then minus y square and minus 1 okay divide x square by 4 Minus y square by sixteen twenty uh, five. Okay, I am choosing here twenty five. So x square minus y square minus one is equal to zero is the equation of uh, hyperbola. Okay, so when I will enter, you can see this is the hyperbola, and uh, if uh, you are changing the sign. If I have minus at this place, sorry. Yes, I have this statement, and I am changing the sign minus, and here is plus. Then enter, so it did not appear because of I think this is not justify the condition of eccentricity. No problem, we can do in this way. We have to increase. uh here is 2 5 and here is 9 we are changing the values and then enter yes we have this parabola okay uh if we want to plot ellipse that is also very quite simple i am using here sin is plus So x square upon twenty five plus y square upon nine. This is the equation of ellipse. And when I will enter, we have the graph of ellipse. You can see here. And further, if you have you want to plot three D, uh, that is also very quite simple. You plot three D graph. So here you can see. Here you can see. Uh, i have a function in the parametric form this is the script file i have prepared and uh, you can see this is x is equal to sin t y is equal to cosine t and this is the third variable z is equal to t and for 3d plotting we have to use at this place ez plot okay you can see this is the ez plot uh three and this is the range of t t is varying from minus 6 pi to 6 pi uh grid on and box on i have used these statements also so as you know uh familiar about this statement so when i will run this code yes you can see a very beautiful graph in 3d of the given function thank you very much to see this video till the end